I'm curious because you have so many fans watching, you've amassed such a huge audience, like we said, what do you think is the monoskin effect that people are just really gravitate towards? <laughs> We're sexy. <laughs> <laughs>
pretty much the same. Yeah, the so same. we really try to not get, you know, too sucked in in this industry or mm -hmm. like only think about work or only hang out with people from work. We always try to keep ourselves like grounded with our friends mm -hmm. that we've always had and doing like very low key chill things. It just comes very naturally to yeah. us. Like we yeah. didn't even decide let's keep our feet grounded. We just, I think also because we're Italians. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, it makes a little bit of difference. No. I, I think I think the main reason is that like if, if you look at our uh, journey from the outside, it can look like we had uh, success overnight. So it, it mm -hmm. makes sense to think that a lot of things change it. But like when everything happened, we were already established in Italy, but we were already playing together. So since it wasn't anything too new. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, we were already playing together since six, seven years. So we had already an identity and an idea of what we wanted to do. So for us, it was not that shocking. Of right. course, it was shocking, but but You're the idea of what we wanted to do was the same. Can you guys go outside now at this point, though? Like, without being recognized? Uh, in the US, we can. It depends on the country. Yeah, it depends on the country. Here, it's perfect. <laughs> okay, where, I mean, Here I'm sure in Italy, when you go home, it's... Yeah, in Italy, yeah, it's quite Italy, crazy. Yeah. Uh, Italy, yes. No, not even a little bit hard. It's not possible. Yeah. No. Like I said, I saw you at the VMAs, which is always so fun to see you hit the red carpet. So many people were excited to see you guys. Anyone that you got to meet backstage or that you had talks with or anyone fun that you got to see? Yeah, we met... Shakira, we met Demi Lovato, mm -hmm. we met Anita, Anita. 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 Yeah, we met a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. It was a fun night. Okay, outside of the performance, what was the favorite part of the night? Uh, after Anita. After party. Party. <laughs> after party. I heard everyone was at this after party. Also, it exhibition. was quite iconic. Oh, oh my god. Also, also yeah, of course. Yeah. I love twerking in the I was yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I need a crush. The advertising of the party was good. It's not one of the party. No, no, no. We're gonna dance. Dance. Yeah. Okay, I come. like. I actually want you guys to do a full Anita collab, but that didn't happen. <laughs> Well, like we need to improve that. our twerking we skills. Have to improve, yeah, we have to improve our... Did you learn some dances? Really, no, I it? really felt so bad because at this party, literally everyone was like twerking. Brazilian, yeah. <laughs> like this, I was like, skills. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we were like... <laughs> we were get another just getting yeah, drunk. Exactly. We are good at that. There you go, there you go. Well, now you're about to party on stage because you're playing Madison Square Garden this week, which is huge. Mm -hmm. What is it like for you guys, Gary, to play this venue? It's amazing for us. Also, because, of course, like the <laughs> live, live, live shows for us is like the best thing, you know, because we have the possibility to have, make a huge connection with our fans and our fandom. So it's very, it's very cool, of course. And also this historical venue. I mean, like uh, Led Zeppelin, lots of cool bands, uh, Beatles, uh, like was well, it's something you know really huge it's something that it also is historic in some way so we can't wait to destroy the Madison Square Garden we'll <laughs> we can't wait to see it. Um, and like we said Honey Are You Coming is out now which congratulations it's so good Thank tell you. us a little bit about this song why you wanted to release it next we we started writing the song after right after the the tour mm -hmm. we were like so uh, energized and inspired from the tour but also like we were uh, started again doing uh, writing sessions uh, and and all that part of our job which is for me personally my favorite part so the the song in a very subtle way talks about that because uh, basically the song is an invitation to uh, somebody else to join you in this in this journey uh, to go in this magical world um, and that's basically what what for me what I feel when I get into into the studio because mm -hmm. it's when you get there it's just the room with a with a computer and some speakers but there's nothing in it and when you go out of that room you might have a song mm -hmm. and I think that yeah. this is very very magical and I always struggle to uh, make people understand this feeling um, and so I wrote a song. And the fans have had some strong reactions to this song so we've pulled a few of our favorite social comments and we're gonna show them to you now. I'm gonna direct to each one of you and I want you to read it and react. Are you okay. ready to hear what your fans are saying? Okay so Damiana we're gonna start with you so let's throw up our first one on screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay Hannah um, with a sunflower says, Moneskin is the horniest band alive. Uh, it's facts. It's true. It's agreeable. Facts. Okay. Um, Tomas, let's read the second one. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay. We, She's a big we know, fan. Yeah, yeah, we know these oh, no, we, know, yeah, we know yeah, her, yeah. yeah. We stalk like, all our fans. Yeah. No way. She, she's yeah. really a huge fan. So, Jean that not that tonic says, Arnie Jail for Life. <laughs> I, I can't say, believe you know the fans. It's oh, all about horny. Horny jail for life. 
Well, I love that one, so yeah, of course. Um, okay, <laughs> Vic, you're up next. <laughs> Summer thought A11, <laughs> Moneskin concert attire, clothes option. <laughs> <laughs> no, clothes I love denied, that. not option. <laughs> I love that. Denied, exactly. It would be yeah. cool to have like a dress code. <laughs> yeah, like naked dress code. <laughs> naked <nothing>. dress. <laughs> I feel like people would love dress. that. The fans would love it. We have to try it. Um, okay, Ethan. <clears throat> yeah. Here we go. Next one. Lisa Naga says, um, sometimes I get reminders on my... For you page. For you, oh, for you page, thank you. And the fact that I'm queer and I'm here for it. Oh, <laughs> yes. Love that. Yes. Yeah. yes. Go for it. I love it. I love it. Um, okay, next <laughs> up. Tomas, we have one for you. <laughs> okay, Sierra says, I am a lesbian, but I just feel in love with him. <laughs> <laughs> love that. I feel like the general consensus is everyone is just in love with all of you. I feel like confusing that's... people's sexuality. <laughs> 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 that's yes. Bi panic thing is. So it's real. Mm. Um, okay, Vic, we got another one for you. Spurns91, I have never in my life had as much trust in anything as she does those pasties. Those pasties. <laughs> I know, but the truth is, I actually don't trust the pasties. I love that they fall off. But yeah, I was going to say, how do you get them to stick? I, they, they don't, they don't. <laughs> I tape them with wig tape and it's the most uh, like painful thing ever <laughs> to rip them off after. <laughs> but uh, yeah, often they fall off. Oh, they fall off. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so Damiano, the sex is for you. <laughs> I'm not gay. I'm Victoria sex. <laughs> it's a new term. Amazing term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a new it's term. term. Amazing term. I, love I, mean, I love that term. I'm going to say that. That's, that's yeah, it's good. Not, it's really it's good. good. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair, Fair enough. enough. Okay, to us, next one's for you. Tiga. T oh, I don't know Tiga. 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 And uh, with the emoji of love. Um, I need her to re reject me. I can handle these feelings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thirsty for you, man. Yeah, I don't want to reject anyone. I feel bad. <laughs> Either another one for you. Oh, okay, <laughs> Eleanor Gladys. The titties, the titties are titting. Okay, and we're good on this. The truck is laying. That's perfect. The fans are happy. What a day. Absolutely. Agree. I agree with that. It's a, it's but, but that's, that's all our perfect. goals. We don't know if she's talking about your titties. Might be eaten titties. Ah, yeah. Well, you're the last bigger titties than mine. So yes, the titty jury is that's out. True. But <laughs> Eleonora, I think it's, it's, a, it's a real one, too. Huh? Yeah, yeah, she's a real one. Yeah. She's a real one. Yeah. Yeah. Love you, Eleonora. Okay, we've got one last one. Damiano, take the last one. <laughs> Josephine Med. <laughs> The man just loves to be naked, of course, man. Like, do you guys know how painful it is to wear these fucking leather clothes all the time and this <laughs> high heels thing? When I have the chance to, to, to free my body, I, I always take it. It's pressure. Pressure. I love pressure. I love the man. As a, as so, the first one. Yeah, the man. <laughs> the man. The man. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I agree with you, Josephine. 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 I love it. Um, well, the fans love you. We love you. Thank you guys so much for being here. Always good to see you. Congratulations you. on everything. And we can't wait to Thank see you. Madison Square Garden this week. Can we give it up for Monesky one more time? <laughs> And of course, thank you all for watching. Make sure you stream all of Monoskin's music on iHeartRadio, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here, and don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. See you next time.